Gaius Julius Caesar was a Roman general and statesman. A member of the First Triumvirate, Caesar led the Roman armies in the Gallic Wars before defeating his political rival Pompey in a civil war, and subsequently became dictator from 49 BC until his assassination in 44 BC. Have I told you about Julius Caesar? Ah, the great Caesar. The man who changed the course of history. Indeed. He was a formidable leader, born in 100 BC into a patrician family. He rose through the ranks of Roman politics swiftly. Yes, I remember reading about his conquests. Gaul trembled at the mention of his name. Precisely. He conquered Gaul through a series of brilliant military campaigns, expanding the Roman Empire to its greatest extent. But his ambition knew no bounds. Crossing the Rubicon was a bold move, wasn't it? Oh, it was a moment that shook Rome to its core. Caesar's decision to march his army across the Rubicon River defied the Senate's authority and marked the beginning of a civil war. And yet, despite his victories, his enemies grew wary. The eyes of March. But they etched in history. Betrayal lurked in the shadows of the Senate chamber. On that fateful day in 44 BC, Julius Caesar fell victim to a conspiracy led by Brutus and Cassius, among others. His death plunged Rome into chaos once more unleashing a power struggle that ultimately led to the rise of Octavian, later known as Augustus. Aye, but even in death, Caesar's legacy endured. His reforms, his conquests, and his political acumen left an indelible mark on the Roman Republic, shaping its destiny for centuries to come. Truly, Julius Caesar was a colossus among men, whose story continues to captivate and inspire generations. You want more of Caesar's story? Well, there's plenty to tell. After his conquest of Gaul, he returned to Rome, but tensions brewed between him and the Senate. Yes, wasn't there a famous confrontation with Pompey the Great? Ah, yes. The first triumvirate. Caesar, Pompey, and Crassus, three powerful men who shared control of Rome. But when Crassus died, the alliance fractured, leading to Caesar's march on Rome. And what about his affair with Cleopatra? That's a tale of romance and intrigue. Indeed. Caesar's affair with Cleopatra, the Queen of Egypt, stirred up quite a scandal. Their union produced a son, Caesarian, whom some claimed was the heir to Caesar's legacy. But it wasn't just love affairs that defined Caesar. His reforms reshaped Roman society, from the calendar we still use today to his efforts to alleviate poverty. True. His assassination may have ended his life, but it didn't erase his impact. The memory of Julius Caesar lives on, a testament to the enduring power of ambition, conquest, and the pursuit of greatness. So, whether you see him as a hero or a tyrant, there's no denying his place in history as one of Rome's most influential figures. Absolutely. Julius Caesar's story is a tapestry woven with triumphs, tragedies, and the eternal quest for power and immortality. And so, the story of Julius Caesar, like the man himself, ends with both triumph and tragedy. His life was a testament to the complexities of power and ambition, and his legacy continues to shape the course of history. Indeed, his name will forever be synonymous with Rome's golden age and its eventual decline into the chaos of civil war. But through it all, Julius Caesar remains a figure of fascination and inspiration, his deeds immortalized in the annals of time. And as we gaze upon the ruins of ancient Rome, we can still hear the echoes of his footsteps, a reminder of the indelible mark he left on the world. Farewell, Julius Caesar, conqueror of nations, architect of empires, and eternal symbol of the human spirit's relentless pursuit of greatness. Farewell, indeed. His story may have ended, but his legend lives on.